to our county be? Um, we will have three finalists and there will be three alternates, so six in total. Um, we're also really excited this year because we have a bus that's going to take all of the candidates over to the county bee. So we all get to go together and have our little pep rally on the way. So I'm really excited about that. Um, we have uh, for our judge, uh, our judges and our pronouncer this year, um, Ms. Tori Anderson has been doing this over and over. We're just so excited we keep getting her back every time. <laughs> she's very good at it. Oh, thank you. Um, so um, we are lucky enough to have Mr. Jim Irving, who is one of our judges. We have Dennis Cook, who is also one of our judges. Miss Jean Tift, also alive, to come and judge for us. And we were lucky enough, we weren't sure if uh, Robin's going to be able to make it. She made it, so we have four judges, which is even better. Um, so we're really excited about tonight. Our beards have been um, studying really hard, and as we had told them before, that uh, we are really proud of them. They have to look at the fact that they spelled better than over 500 kids in their school. So they are top spellers. Just to be here is amazing. So we're really proud of all of them. Um, we do ask that you turn off the ringers on your phone. Um, I just reminded myself to do that. Uh, and up front, I mean, she'll be able to tell you a little more on the, the rules. But if there's something that, that if she says that it's wrong and you question it, before the round is over, the form that you need to fill out is right up here. Actually, let's put it over here. Yeah, I think that'd be better. Put it over here on the side. If you say, uh-uh, they spelled that right, it has to be before your child comes up and does another spelling word, okay? We can then check the videotape and see if it was spelled correctly or incorrectly, okay? Okay, I'm gonna Just give it to you. I think okay. we're ready. All right, so let's do a sound check. Can you guys hear me, or is it better if I talk into this one? Yeah. yeah. This one? Okay. Because this is about whether or not you can hear the pronunciation. All right? Parents, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave this one on because that goes to our TV land because this is live on YouTube. So not to make you more nervous. <laughs> you know, get it all out, get it out, get it out. All right. So I want to remind you, um, I will call your number, and we're going to do a practice round, and you will spell your name. So I want you to kind of think in your head, you're going to say your name, and then you're going to spell it. Okay? Now, um, for the rules. When I'm pronouncing, I have to go by how it's pronounced in the book. There's specific um, sounds for the letters. So if you think that there is an alternate pronunciation, or if you need me to repeat it again, don't forget to ask, please repeat that again, or is there an alternate pronunciation? You can also ask for the definition, and you can ask for it to be used in a sentence. Okay? The other thing you can ask is you can ask for the part of speech. So those are some good questions to kind of have in the back of your mind, but I'm not going to give you the, give, just give that information. It's only if you ask for it, okay? All I can do is pronounce the word, unless you ask for something else, okay? Now do I have you really nervous? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Then we're good, because I'm nervous too. All right. Yes. Okay. Who's going to give the pledge? I'll do it. Oh, I, I mean, I can do that. It's fine. Okay. Okay. If you'll please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Are we ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. All right, are we ready for our practice round, spellers? Okay, we will go in numerical order, and you'll stay in the same numerical order throughout the night. All right? And when you miss, or if you misspell a word, my answer will be that was incorrect. Okay? I don't like saying it, so just know that it hurts me if I have to say that. All right. Practice round. Here we go. Number one. Uh, 
Say your name and then spell it. Rihanna, R-H-I-A-N-N-A, -N -N Rihanna. That is correct. Number two. Say your name and then spell it. Alina, A-L-E-E-N-A, -E -E Alina. That's correct. I'm, trying, I'm going in numerical order. Number three. Anna, A-N-A-H, Anna. That is correct. Number four. Sasha, S-A-S-H-A, -S -A, Sasha. That is correct. Number five. Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y. Bailey. That, that is correct. Number six. Could you use that in a sentence? <laughs> yes, I certainly can. Cannon is at the spelling bee tonight. Works for me. Cannon, C-A-N-N-O-N. -N that is correct. Seven. Blake. B-L-A-K-E, Blake. That is correct. Eight. Mara, M-A-R-A, Mara. That is correct. Nine. Ariana, A-R-A, A-R-I-A-N-N-A, -A -A, Ariana. That is incorrect. No, I'm kidding. That's correct. <laughs> now, you know during the spelling, but you can't go back. Once you say it, it's out there. Okay. Ten. Brandy. B-R-A-N-D-Y. That is correct. Eleven. Dion. D-E-I-O-N. Dion. That is correct. Twelve. You can tilt Patrick, it all the way up. P-A-T-R-I-C-K. That's correct. So don't be afraid to move the mic up and down, okay? Thirteen. Emma, E-M-M-A. That is correct. Fourteen. Ramsey, R-A-M-S-E-Y. That is correct. Fifteen. Andrew. A-N-D-R-E-W. Andrew. That is correct. All right, spellers, that completes our practice round. Take a deep breath. Are we ready to go? All right, judges, you ready? All right. Parents, you ready? All right. All right, here we go. Number one. Trek. Can you use that in a sentence? The hike to the area known as the chimney tops turned out to be quite a trek. Trek. T-R-E-K. Trek. That is correct. <laughs> Number two. Waltz. Waltz. W A L T Z. Waltz. That is correct. Number three. Diary. Diary. D I A R Y. Diary. That is correct. Number four. This word has a homonym, croon. It is a verb, and the definition is seeing in half voice, especially into a closely held microphone. Croon, C-R-O-O-N, croon. That is correct. Number five, right? Can't see your number, sorry. Tornado. Tornado, T-O-R-N-A-D-O, -O, tornado. That is correct. Six, 
daily. Daily. D A I L Y. Daily. That is correct. Monsoon. Monsoon. M O N S O O N. Monsoon. That is correct. Eight. Loiter. Can you please repeat the word? Loiter. L O I T E R. That is correct. Nine. Muskrat. Muskrat. M U S K R A T. Muskrat. That is correct. Ten. Dogged. Can you repeat the word? Dogged. Dogged. D O G G E D. Dogged. That is correct. Number 11. Mammoth. Mammoth. M A M A T H. Mammoth. That is incorrect. Number 12. Womanly. Womanly. Correct. W O M E N L Y. Womanly. That is incorrect. Thirteen. Netherland. Netherland. N E T H E R L A N D. Netherland. That is. You know what? I need to that I pronounce that wrong. So I'm going to skip that word and go to the next word. So 13 stay there. The word should have been pronounced Netherlander and I spelled it wrong. I pronounced it wrong. So your new word is Aspen. Could you please use that in a sentence? The skier lost control and crashed into an Aspen. Aspen, A-S-P-E-N, Aspen. That is correct. Your word is ballerina. Ballerina, B-A-L-L-E-R-I-N-A. -L -L -E that is correct. Fifteen. Your word is Capricorn. Capricorn. C A P R I C O R N. Capricorn. That is that is correct. And that is our end of round one. Correct, judges? Okay, round two, number one. Your word is fiend. Can you repeat that? Fiend. Can you use that in a sentence? David is a golf fiend whose dream is to win a professional golf tournament one day. Can you please give the definition? A person excessively devoted to or captivated by a pursuit, practice, or object of study. A fanatic. Fiend. F-E-A-N-E-D. Fiend. That is incorrect. Number two. 
Number two, caboose. Caboose, C-A-B-O-O-S-E. That is correct. Number three. This word has a homonym, confidence. It is a noun. The definition, a relation or state of trust between persons who share or impart secrets or intimate matters. Confidence. Confidence. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E. Confidence. That is correct. Number four. Your word is diorama. Diorama. Can I get that in a sentence, please? Carl's diorama depicting prehistoric civilization was the hit of the student exhibit. Diorama. D. I. O-R-A-M-A, -A, diorama. That is correct. Five. Your word is falsetto. Could you say that in a sentence? Dad draped a mop over his head and sang, Mary had a little lamb in falsetto. Could I have the definition? An artificially high voice. Can you say the word again? Falsetto. F A L C E T T O. That is incorrect. Six. Your word is geothermal. Can I have the definition? Of or relating to the heat of the Earth's interior. <laughs> Can you repeat the word? Geothermal. Geothermal. G-E-O-T-H-E-R-M-A-L. Geothermal. That is correct. Your word is Crescent. Crescent. C R E C E N T. Crescent. That is incorrect. Number eight. This word has a homonym, llama. It is a noun. Any of several cud-chewing mammals of South America related to the camels, but smaller and without a hump. Llama. Llama. L-L-A-M-A. -A. Llama. That is correct. Nine. Your word is gradient. Can you say that word in a sentence, please? Say that again. Can you say that word in a sentence, please? Signs of the roadside warned of the increasing gradient ahead and cautioned drivers to check their brakes. Gradient. G-R-A-D. 
D-I-A-N-T, gradient. That is incorrect. Ten. Mathematics. Mathematics. M A T H E M A T I C S. Mathematics. That is correct. Thirteen. Harmonica. Harmonica. H A R M O N I C A. Harmonica. That is correct. Stoic. Stoic. S T. Let me stop you. It's, can you, it's stoic. Oh, stoic? Stoic. May I use in definition? Not affected by passion or feeling, especially manifesting indifference to pleasure or pain. May I use in a sentence? Alan tried to remain stoic in the dentist's chair. S T O E K E? That is incorrect. Fifteen. Your word is hypothesis. Hypothesis. H Y P O T H E S I S. Hypothesis. That is correct. That is our end of round two. Number two, this is the beginning of our round three. Your word is ambulance. Can you repeat that? Ambulance. Ambulance, A M B U. L A N C E. That is correct. Number three. Your word is contraband. Can you please repeat the word? Contraband. Can I have the definition, please? Goods or merchandise, the importation, exportation or sometimes possession of which is forbidden. Can I please have a sentence? Guards routinely seize contraband at checkpoints along the border. Contraband. C O N T R E B A N D. Contraband. That is incorrect. Number, who's next? I can't see your number. Four. Your word is hassock. Hassock. Can I get a definition, please? A bulky upholstered cushion that serves as a seat or leg rest. Hassock. Hassock. H A S S O C K, Hasek. That is correct. Six. Your word is threshold. Thre threshold. T H R E S. H O L D, threshold. That is correct. Seven. 
Number eight. Your word is haversack. Can I have the definition, please? A bag or case similar to a knapsack, but usually worn over one shoulder. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Ozzy took the binoculars out of his battered leather haversack. H A V E R S A C K. That is correct. Ten. Your word is Newton. Can you use that in a sentence? Monica learned that one Newton equals 100,000 dimes. Newton. N-U-T-E-N. -E Newton. That is incorrect. Thirteen. Your word is hurricane. Hurricane. H-U-R-R-I-C-A-N-E. Hurricane. That is correct. Fifteen. This word has a near homonym. The word is protein. The definition is any of a large class of naturally occurring, extremely complex combinations of amino acids that are essentially cons constituents of all living cells and also of the diet of the animal organism. The word is a noun. Protein. P -R -O -T -E -I -N. That is correct. That is the end of round three. Okay, beginning of round four. Number two. Your word is Spartan. Can you repeat that? Spartan. Can you repeat that one more time? Spartan. Spartan? That's a R D E D. That is incorrect. Number four. Your word is polymer. Polymer. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Fascinated by the polymer they had created, the students tossed it from one side of the lab to the other. Polymer. P-O-L-Y-M-E-R. Polymer. That is correct. Number six. Your word is fathom. Fathom. F-A-T-H-O-M. Fathom. That is correct. Number eight. Your word is adios. Adios. 
A U D I O S. Adios. That is incorrect. Number 13. Your word is algebra. Algebra. A L G E B R A. Algebra. That is correct. 15. Your word is sumo. Sumo. S U M O. That is correct. And that is the end of round four. Okay, this is the beginning of round five. So we've got six, four, 13, and 15. Okay. All right, number four. Your word is carnivore. Carnivore. C A R N I V O R. Carnivore. That is incorrect. Six. Your word is giraffe. Giraffe. G I R A F F E. Giraffe. That is correct. Thirteen. Your word is anchovy. Anchovy. A N C H O V Y. Anchovy. That is correct. Fifteen. Your word is crochet. Can you say that again? Crochet. Crochet. C. That is correct. That is the end of round five. <laughs> Don't forget to talk into the microphone so I can hear you too, okay? All right, this is the beginning of round six. Your word is hosta. Can you repeat that? Hosta. Can you use it in a sentence? A hosta is a good choice for planting in a very shady spot. Can I have the definition? Any plant of a genus of Asiatic perennial herbs that have, been ri that have ribbed leaves often blotched or bordered with white and scapes of white, blue, or lilac flowers, and that are widely cultivated as, ornament, as ornamentals. Hosta. H-A-S-T-A, hosta. That is incorrect. Number 13. Your word is Alamo. Could you please use that in a sentence? During hot afternoons in Houston, Jeff often sits under a large Alamo in his backyard. Alamo. A L A M O. Alamo. That is correct. Your word is paddock. Could you say that again? Paddock. Could you use it in a sentence? Before the race, 
the trainer inspected the horse condition inside the paddock. Paddock. P A D D O C K. Paddock. That is correct. And that's the end of round six. Now, judges, is there a rule about the last two spellers that, okay, what's the rule? Is there anything different that I need to be doing? I just want to make sure. They just keep going back and forth, right? Yes, but, uh, okay. Um, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I just, I know there's. A new word. Okay. 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 Did you hear that, spellers? Okay. All right. This is the beginning of round seven, number 13. Your word is hyphen. Hyphen. H Y P H E N. Hyphen. That is correct. 15. Your word is petunia. Can you use that in a sentence? Russell pulled a purple petunia from the flower bed. Petunia. P E T U N I A. Petunia. That is correct. That's the end of round seven. Number 13. Your word is antibiotic. Antibiotic. A N T I B I O T I C. Antibiotic. That is correct. 15. Your word is mesa. Can you use that in a sentence? 24 tribes claim spiritual ties to the mesa that soars some 700 feet above the southwestern Colorado's surrounding lowlands. Mesa. Mesa. M-E-S-A. Mesa. That is correct. That's the end of round eight. Thirteen. Your word is chronic. Could you please use that in a sentence? Clarence never looked forward to eating because he was troubled with chronic indigestion. Chronic. C-H-R-O-N-I-C. Chronic. That is correct. Fifteen. Your word is fatigue. Can you use that in a sentence? Fatigue occurs when one does too much too fast. Fatigue. Fatigue. F-A-T-I-G-U-E. That is correct. That's the end of round nine. Thirteen. Your word is ramada. Could you please use that in a sentence? The class picnic was held at a ramada in the public park. Could I please have the definition? An open porch. Ramada. R-O-M-A-D-A, -A, ramada. That is incorrect. Fifteen. Your word is bevel. Can you use that in a sentence? 
Jesse will bevel the edges of the cabinet he is making for his mother. Can you give me the definition? Cut or shape to an angle, put a slant on the edge of. Bevel. Bevel. B E V E L. Bevel. That is correct. So now I need to spell the next word as well. The beginning of round 11. Your word is Olympian. Olympian. O L Y M P I A N. Olympian. That is correct. And that concludes our spelling bee. <laughs> Only because it's recording. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, I would really love for us to give a round of applause for all of our yes. We would like to present the um, trophies to our top three, which uh, Ms. Uh, Sensgard will take care of. Okay. So we have our winner, uh, Andrew Din. He's from Desert Wind. He's eighth grader. Come on over. And then uh, the second place winner is from uh, Wells. She's an eighth grader, Emma Schrader. <laughs> and also from Wells, he's a uh, seventh grader, uh, Cannon Jones. So we're going to go ahead and have a picture taken with these students. All right. Okay. And then our three alternates. And then the three alternates. Who will also be going. Okay. Um, from Maricopa Elementary, we have Elena uh, Antone. Come on over. From Santa Rosa, Mara Fortunaro. Mara's a fourth grader, Elena's a fifth grader. And then from Pima Butte, fourth grade, Sasha Bates. We also have permission slips for the uh, kids that will go on the bus. If we could have parents sign those out, we could have those here with us. So.
If you are available to come to Call the Public during my board report, I am going to talk about the spelling bee tonight and would be happy to have you stand up and be acknowledged because I think it's amazing that, first of all, you parents are here, but also that these students have studied and have done an amazing job. So um, I would love to acknowledge those that can make it. I know it's late notice. Um, call to the public is early at the beginning, and then we go to our board report. So if you're able to, I would love to acknowledge you. So nice job, students.